The original Aqua di Gio was launched in 1996 for Giorgio Armani, created by Alberto Morias. The original had some florals in the middle, some citruses at the very top, and as it dried down, it had sort of a musky oak moss dry down. A really beautiful scent and lots of people wear it. Unfortunately, today, uh, I would say most of the mature, older gentlemen wear Aqua di Gio, the original from 1996. But fast forward to 2022, and we finally get an Eau de Parfum version, and why don't you and I look at it together, shall we? Since the 1990s, there have been some other flankers that are off the original Aqua di Gio. Some of the most notable ones is Aqua di Gio. It's the Profumo. And lots of people think that this is actually the perfume version. It is not. What they did in the Profumo is they added some incense in it, which made it a little bit smoky. And actually a quite nice profile for the Aqua di Gio. Lots of people prefer this one over the original. It kind of updated the whole thing a little bit. And I have a six ounce bottle here. It's going to take me quite a while to get rid of this one. I got a good deal on this one. And of course there were there was also a Essenza and then a special blend. Unfortunately the Essenza is no longer available. I wish they would bring it back. It was a really great scent. I don't have a bottle of it anymore. But as time went on there were some other flankers. We had the Absolute. Aqua di Gio Absolu. And what they did in this one, they added a little bit of a fruity note to it. And then we had the Absolute Instinct, which also had the fruity notes, but it added some more woods into it. So this is a little bit something that you could wear when it's cooler outside. That's one of my favorites, Absolute Instinct from Aqua di Gio. And of course, as time went on a little bit more, we had the Profondo and the Profondo Lights. And in those two, what happened is they added some mineral notes into the Aqua di Gio DNA, also very nice fragrance, sort of reminiscent of the original one with some mineral notes. And if you're interested in the whole lineup of the Aqua di Gio line, at least the ones that I have, I did a full rundown of it not too long ago, and I will try to link it for you in the top if you want to watch it. But right now we're going to talk about the 2022 release, and it is finally an Eau de Parfum. Honestly, I wasn't going to get the 2022 Eau de Parfum. Since I have already so many of that scent profile in my collection, I was like, ah, how much could it possibly be different, you know, or better? If it wasn't for some of you guys who said, you know what, it's really worth getting. It's a great new addition to the collection. So I went out and got it. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. And thanks for telling me that I need to go get it. It is no wonder there are so many flankers of this masculine superstar. When I first smelled this one, when I opened it, I was like, you know, it does have a little bit more of a mature feel to it. You know, I have some lavender and some geranium in there. However, there are some additions of mineral notes in this one, which give it a little bit more of a contemporary feel. The mineral notes you'll also find in the Profondo. So we know that the 2022 edition has some mineral notes in it. But what else does it have in it that gives it a sort of modernized contemporary feel. I mean, naturally it shares some of the marine notes that you have from the original Aqua di Gio. It's going to be very close to it, but it has the addition of mineral notes and it has a little bit of the absolute. So it also has a little bit more of a woodiness to it. So we got a mineral woodiness. It's already different from the original. The original had a lot of florals at the very beginning. Now this one is not going to have as many floral notes in it, which some of you probably are not going to like because you love the florals in this one. The Eau de Parfum is not going to start out with a bunch of floral notes. It is noticeably different when you first apply it. It is almost as if the floral notes of the original have like evaporated already and the Eau de Parfum starts out a little bit later in the development of the fragrance. It still will work all day in a work environment, however. I wore this one today and we're, let's say, about eight and a half hours later and I can still smell it on my skin, although I don't think that it protects any longer unless you're close in. So the longevity is there, but the protection pretty much died down after about four hours or so. It was sitting in a little bit closer. So not quite as loud as the original. You could wear the Eau de Parfum also all year long because it is a little bit denser. So you could wear it into the cooler months. However, I don't think that's going to be suitable to wear it unless you're in an indoor office environment with heat in the, in the winter. But outside, if it's cold, it's not going to hold up for it, which the other one didn't either. It's mostly, you know, a summer sort of warmer weather fragrance. Now you could wear it as a signature scent, obviously. It's gonna have to be air conditioned or heated. 
If you have the original already, then this one is probably going to be a little bit more on the redundant side for you because they do smell very similar. It's like I said, without the floral notes at the very top. But if you don't have it, then this is a really nice one to get started with because it has a little bit of the mineral notes from the Profundo, which is very nice, gives it sort of a contemporary feel. And it has a little bit of the woody notes of the Absolute. Now, it does not have the fruity notes of the Absolute, just the woodiness. So I guess a little bit more of the instinct, I would say. Now, there's also not any smoke in there or incense like you find in the Profumo. However, this is a great start because it does seem like it's a bit of an, an updated version to a 1996 classic fragrance that many still wear today. If you're not really into the florals at the top, then this is a great way to go. My final thoughts on this one are that Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum from 2022 has the performance and the notes that I like about the whole line. Same great scent with the added woody notes and the contemporary minerals. Less of the florals that kind of age the original just a little bit. And it starts out deeper and lasts a little bit longer. But that's just what I think. What do you think about the new release of 2022 Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum? Do you have it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more content. I'd love to have you on board. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice. And I will talk to you soon.